Okay, really quick, just wanted to show you guys some things and ask you a couple of questions. What you're looking at is my coil winder. I made it some time ago. And uh, basically, this is an old wine rack that I turned on its side. And obviously, there's some things here you can recognize. This is an old um, cordless hand drill. You know, like those power, those uh, Craftsman power screwdrivers. Took the battery out of it, just pulled the wires out, little on and off switch over here. Um, what I'm probably going to do is put a pedal switch. Um, what I'd like to do is copy that one guy on YouTube who actually got a sewing machine motor uh, so I can get some um, variation in the speed, although I really don't need it. I've got five volts going to this thing and it works pretty good. And uh, here's my, um, it's where I hold the, the wire and right here, this assembly right here is an old hand drill drill press unit that I just took off you know I put the the coil on here and you know tighten it up with this with this thing here and and you know it spins away I just use a regular rubber band on here I can vary the, the strength just by loosening this nut right here anyway that's not really what really I got you here um, I make all my my coils as most of us do um, but I also make the coil housings and so I've been building a lot of coils lately to do some testing and this is for these questions are for pickup coils only I, I thought that and I still think that the pancake style coil is probably the best you know hollow core um, for doing pickup on this on this area here or even in here removing some of the spirals but obviously the pancake is a wider area. Um, I used a uh, heavy gauge on this. I think it's like a, a 22, because I was told that the heavier the gauge, um, the more voltage. But obviously um, there's probably some drawbacks to that. I also made a couple of these, air core. Um, and these are bifiler. And so my questions are, do I need to use this type for pickup again this is pickup and I'm thinking maybe to use this type in here because I can get a bunch of them in here and use the pancake coil for up here and again I know I have to watch out for lens law um, do they a need to be by filer or can I just wind them just straight and just run them in series um, is the heavy gauge better is the pancake design better um, should I put a core in these, um, or should I just leave them hollow? I don't, I don't see any um, uh, reason to put the core. And I don't think it would hurt it, but I don't see any benefit. And I'm actually thinking about making more of these pancake coils, but much thinner, um, probably about a third less than what you see here. So that's it. Um, should I put a core? or just leave it hollow should I stick to the pancake design heavy gauge thin gauge somewhere in the middle by filer non by filer the typical coil style or the pancake like I said and so that's what I'm doing that's what I'm doing I made yeah like I said I made this guy own wire rack this is all parts from from um, an old crutch I had. I actually had about four pair of crutches that I've used tremendously to make stuff. Use that to brace it off. Um, I'm running out of wire, so I'm starting to salvage old coils. All this wire on this spool here, this is all like 22 gauge. It was all pulled off of an old coil, which is great. Start pulling some of these some of these old coils I have like this is probably one of my very first ones I ever made what a piece of junk and as you can see these are all different experimental coils this one actually works really well I saw this design on the tube where it's larger at one end smaller at the other really good coil for doing um, triggering and and power this one too I saw just run the bolt through there so I'm gonna keep those but things like this you know take it apart it's kind of junky 
Um, so yeah, so th th those are the questions. If you guys can help me out here, I certainly appreciate it. All right. That's about it. Ciao.